need a smile, mate. Come on, need a smile. <laughs> The, the 300 you've got in your box already? Like I'm fresh, Lindsay. Like Well, I've been invited up to uh, a couple of days fishing in the Midlands Reservoir. So yesterday I was at Grafham and today I've come to Eyebrook. This is my first visit to this fishery and uh, I was hoping for a bit better conditions, but it's pretty much the same as yesterday. It's blown a hoolie and uh, it doesn't look like it's going to abate, but we'll see how we get on. And uh, I'm hoping for a good day. I'm out in the boat with my old pal Jock Kettles. So if nothing else, we'll have a laugh. I'm not telling you.
me and Jock's out at Ibrook and we're, it's a lovely day today. The conditions are superb. We've got overcast, there's a nice gentle ripple. Not seen any fish rising yet, but we're, we're keeping our eye out for any on the move so that we can switch quickly to dries. Uh, Jock's opted to start with a midge tip and I'm on the slow glass to begin with on a washing line setup. So I'm going to crack on and see if we can't catch a fish. Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've been out for about an hour or so now and the, the fishing's not been really quick but Jock's just started to put a few together, he's, he's had three now and uh, a few other bumps besides. So I'm going to pass the camera over and let him explain to you how he's been getting them. Well, myself and Lindsay started, started with a, a six foot VO mid tip. Um, the word was that the fish were high in the water. Uh, we'd done a good long drift probably 500 yards. Uh, Lindsay managed to pull one, pulling a booby through the wave, but after that we never had anything for a while. The wind picked up slightly so uh, we decided, well I decided that uh, I might try and just fish under the wave. So I changed from a six foot midge tip to the uh, mid glass, the airflow mid glass. And uh, we're still nymphing, we've got a little point fly on the point, and um, they're taking dial backs, black and red, and they're also taking uh, a sunburst fab. The idea was, uh, it was a bit bright at times, so we thought they may have dropped down slightly, and it maybe proves to be the point, because after putting on the mid glass, I've managed to pick up three, and probably two good takes. So, I'll just persevere on this drift, see if we can pick up one or two more, uh, and only time will tell if we're right. Well, it's, uh, it was really quiet there for about two hours. We've, we've tried changing our techniques and methods and Jock's re just been reeling in his um, six foot tip with a team of buzzers and a fab on the point and a fish is, a fish is reeling in fast, I'm told, uh, and a fish has just hammered one of the buzzers. So, But that's been the first fish in a couple of hours. It's been really tough. And uh, as, you, as you can see, conditions couldn't really be any better than this. We've got great overcast cloud cover and there's a nice gentle ripple on the water. No fish shown yet though and uh, it's pretty frustrating. So I've been up and downstairs with the fly lines trying to um, just get in touch with them to no avail. But we're going to persevere and see if we can't get any more. Well, it's not been the easiest of days. Uh, we've really struggled to find any consistency, but chopping and changing has guaranteed that we have kept some sport to the boat. So the way I've just had my last fish is uh, roly poly -ing. And what I've got is two orange blobs on. I'm simply casting out and I'm roly poly -ing. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Well, Jock's gonna show you what that looks like. Now. 
So basically what Jock's doing there is he's fishing quite a light line and because he's really poorly and he's keeping his flies really high in the water and the fish are uh, really hitting hard when they do hit. So it's just another tool, another tool to your arsenal if you want to give it a go next time you're out, you're struggling. It's worth giving it a crack and see if it can't put a fish in the boat for you. Well, it's, it's been a tough old day for me, my old pal Jock. Uh, I've finished up on the dries, uh, conditions look perfect for it now, other than the fact there's no fish rising, but uh, I feel confident that the dries might pull something up. But uh, I'm going to end the video here, so I'll say goodbye from me, and... That's goodbye from him.